Told you two TVs, sports cast. We're here for another outing. We're in the Patroon Conference here tonight. I'm Coach Denzi alongside my partner, Coach Fuller. It's a Patroon Conference battle between visiting the Chatham Panthers and the Rensselaer Rams. Beautiful gym here, Coach. Nice gym, nice facility. <laughs> facility is real nice here. I love being here. These two teams met early in the season, Coach, and um, Rensselaer came out on top. So I think Chatham want to repay, repay, uh, you know, a visit or a, a win to these guys. You know what I mean? Like they, they beat them at their gym. I didn't want to come here and beat them at their gym. Coach, you look like a super sophomore from last year's list. I don't see him on the court. He's here. He just didn't start. He okay. Got a shot clock violation there. First possession by the Panthers. Didn't come up good. I guess not having your, you know, the super sophomore of last year not on the court this year as a junior. Start this out, you got some issues with the offense. Something's going on here where you got to think. Wow. Got a turnover. That's Lockhart turning it over to Chatham Panthers. Mm -hmm. The ball goes to the high post. And mm -hmm. a shot by number two, unable to go down. Wow, they're turning over the ball like crazy to start the game. Two turnovers already start that. Three. Three. You got three. I got three total by both teams. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's. Yep. I'll handle the turnover department. <laughs> <laughs> Castor has the ball and he gives it up to number one. Matt Thorson, that's the coach's son, number one there. Shot clock under 15, shoots it up, knocks it in. That shot is by Zach Gray. He puts the Panthers on top first, coach, 3 nothing, And we're under two, I'm sorry, we're under 620 in the first quarter. Are we dealing with one of those Dilly Dolly programs again, coach? Yeah. I don't even see him in there. Ball gets skipped, knocks it in. by Ramel Johnson. No, that's number 24. Yeah, you're right. This brochure. I don't even see a 24 Monty in here. Ronnie Nixon. Okay. Pump fakes. Gets contact. No call. We're at 540. Rebound gets kicked out. Rinse the Rams are on the move. Lockhart looks at it. Penetrates, kicks it to Nixon. Nixon give an extra pass to Ramel Johnson, able to go down. Rebound, Panthers. Drives it hard. Contact, going the other way. Charging call. Patrick Sullivan stood in there strong here, coach 41 for the Rams. Take that charge. With five, with 520 to go in the first period. That foul was on Kessner. That's his first, team's first. Penetrate, kick, extra pass there. He looks at it, turns it down. Johnson has a wide open shot, comes up short. Oh, he tried to box out Johnson, and Johnson got around him with the long arms and knocked it off of his body. Just under five minutes to play. 3-3, three, three, score. Ball gets swung around. Ramel hits the wire up there. The ball will go to Chatham. Coach number ten for the Rams. His name is Amazi Wright. He doesn't like a he doesn't like a Amazi Wright. To me. He doesn't. It doesn't look like Amazi Wright to me either, Coach. <laughs> but we'll go with that for now. Until we're here to, otherwise. Oh, nice move. On, is that Kastner there, Coach? That's Kastner right there for the bucket. Yeah, nice inside play there for him, using that backboard nicely. Ball gets swung around the horn. They find a high post, Ramel. He skips it over to nobody. Turnover, Rams. 
scores five to three. Chatham has the lead. Now they bring in Lasher's Emoja 2 TV super sophomore. He comes in the game. That's Jay Sean Wright, number 11, 6'2", junior guard. When, he first, when these two teams first met, they lost, but he dropped 27 points to coach. Oh, that's, that yeah, that's why I was surprised he was over at the bench, but we don't know any of the eternal things that's going on, but he's in the game now. He scores right away, coach. Jay Shaw starts right off. He must have seen this in the building, coach. Now, now I'm going to put on the show tonight. Oh, absolutely. When we're in the building, they look to put on the show for you, Mojo 2 TV. No question. They got Jay Shaw, coach. He's 6'2", one of the bigger guys on the team. He got a steal. He gives it up. Oh, lock on with the block. Strong gets the rebound as well. Kicks it up ahead. Scores the bucket. Oh, I'm sorry, coach. What more can you ask for that? You got a block shot, strong rebound. You push it down and get the assist yes. on multiple things on one possession. No question about it. Mm -hmm. Ball gets swung. It gets to, to Johnson. He gives it up. Coach, we got, we're nearing. Oh, nice little play. Found a gap there, coach, in that defense. Time out. Wrestling wants to talk about it. That's head coach Tim Frost. He wants to talk about it at 3 0 3 mark, coach. Yeah. And, I will, go ahead, coach. Yeah, and that right now in the conference, the Rams are 5 and 6 uh, with a record there in the, in the Patron Conference. Overall, they're 10 and 7. The Chatham Panthers are 2 and 9 in the Patron. Overall, they're 3 and 11. So they're struggling right now um, with, with Chatham. And like, Chris Lear's like just trying to find a way. I don't know what's going on with them. They're like near 500. All right, so you have a team right here with the Rams, coach. I mean, if, if I'm the coach, I want to talk about it too, getting an open layup like yeah, that, uncontested. Yeah. We need to talk about some things here. Yeah, yeah. But you have a Rams team who's looking to, like you said, get over the hump, push forward a little bit, and you've got a Chatham team that's looking to find their identity a little bit better and hope to make some noise as we come down to the latter part of the season. No Nine to five, Chatham is up by four. Oh, they find them in the gap of that pressure defense. And that's Amani Nixon gets the bucket. They draw closer, Rensselaer does. Out of control, turns it over. Amazi gets it up. And he scores the bucket. Number 41, Patrick Sullivan. Big baby coming down the lane. And he <laughs> find a good look. There's uh, Johnson for three. Knock it in. Three ball. Extends the lead to 12 to 9. Yeah, Jay Sean Wright. <laughs> Line it up. It. Comes in with quick five points That's to start off. Yeah, you just started oh, just on that one thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jason wins. I'm sorry. Oh, you had me calling him right. <laughs> Why am I following you? Yeah, okay. you know, you know what it is. <laughs> Lockhart <laughs> has the ball, sees the screen, kicks it out to Amazi right. Hard off the backboard. Oh, you gotta get that ball up to Jay Sean earlier. Yeah, he backed up for the three. He had three, he had two threes in the first matchup. They collected 27 points that night, and they lost. We got a foul on right there. That's his first team second. Rensselaer has 71 that game, and Chatham has 65. So, like, like Rensselaer wants to keep it high, high scoring in their favor. And number 12, Spencer Ford checks into the game oh, for the big Panthers. Rebound, offensive rebound there. Gets tapped out of bounds. Oh, he loses the ball, Chatham does. One, under 150 to play here, first period. Wrestler nine, Chatham 12. <laughs> Sullivan drives, kicks. Lockhart gets it, crosses over, right to the bucket, scores it. At the 130 mark, we got 11 to 12. Strong move by here, I like her, her, her right there. <laughs> <laughs> the ball gets, oh, they missed it inside. Oh, it gets tipped away. They, were, they retained the ball here. Hey, look, Xavier Baker checks into the game for the Rensselaer Rams. Coach, number five. They should on. Comes up short on that three-pointer. Finds an open, cutting. Johnson there. Richard takes the lead for the first time. 55 seconds to go. 
13-12. Spots the long three. Comes up kind of hard there. Rebound. Amazi right. Side pocket three ball. And it rattles out. Throws it off of the ram. Chatham Panthers retain possession. With 35 seconds to go. So Matt Thorson checks into the game for the Chatham boys. So you got two brothers on the team, obviously, there, yeah, coach. Gerard. Gerard. I don't like guys' names being close to mine like that, coach. <laughs> Twenty-one seconds. He stumbles, throws it up. Amazi right, coach. Another rebound. A little shortest guard in the court, getting it in. Turnover. Oh, the money Nixon it. Try to do too much there. Ten seconds. Got a sub coming in. Like Craig Harris is coming in for the Rams, number one. And we got 30, oh, 33. And like Aiden Sanders comes in as well. Replaces Nixon and Sullivan. Because they had a short bench over there on the other side. They do. One second. Ball gets tapped out in the quarter there. Uh, Williams, Deshaun Williams, couldn't get anything to positive come out of that play that time, Coach. 13-12, what do you think? What are your thoughts so far, Coach, in this Patron Conference matchup here? Well, when we first got here, we talked about Jay Sean, the super sophomore, last year not being in the game, and right off the rip he comes to the game and pays dividends with five straight points. The Rams, they have been um, studying the chip with Lockhart. He's doing a lot of things for them, rebounding. He has a couple assists already, hard defense. So it's a good matchup right now. You see two teams nip and tuck going back and forth, and right now the Rams are able to hold a one-point lead going into the second period. Yes. The leading scorer for the Rams, Coach, this year is Ramel Johnson, number 23. He seemed to be, um, you know, struggling just a little bit. And then um, I like Nixon as well, Coach. He's doing good. Amani Nixon, he's doing well uh, for them. One thing I noticed, though, that they don't shoot the, the foul shots that good as a team. Both teams don't. I mean, the Rams of uh, Rens Lyrico, they shoot 53%. And uh, the Panthers of Chatham, they shoot 52.9% from the free throw line. So oh, boy. if it turns to a free throw battle, I don't know who's going to win. Yeah, the 50 50 factor is well in effect. Yeah. And these two teams are on display here tonight. Okay, the ball gets triggered in. We're back to live action. Lockhart controls the ball for the Rams, swinging the ball around. Sullivan spots it. Unable to go down. Ball gets tipped man. out. Stays with Chatham. Sullivan shot that like that's my shot. Yeah, I mean, that's regular for me. Yeah, uh, that's what I do. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so right. Coach, he knocked down 22. Oh, okay, so that's why he's coming out there looking like that. Like, yeah, yeah that's what I do. Jason Williams gives the ball up. Got a steal here by the Rams. Murray Looks in the open court. Attack. Gives it up. Sullivan gets the feed from Harris. Nice pass by Harris. Good steal there by Baker. Xavier Baker for the Rams. Stins the lead, coach, by three, 15 to 12. Another steal, almost. Lockhart plays the passing lane there. The 5'9 guard. It brings a lot of energy. He's playing a lot of the passing lane, getting deflections, hands on balls, deflections, which is the thing you love. Yes. <laughs> Coach, you got love being on a team like that. You got three subs, that's it? Yeah, a lot yeah, of minutes over there. A lot of minutes. <laughs> yeah. The ball gets swung. Williams goes in. Barker gets the charge. No basket. No basket. Still, the score remains 15-12. And that's his first team second. Nice strong move inside there, though, by Williams. And he's showing a little bit of what he showed last year, Coach, that made him special. No question. Lockhart slips it, finds a way 
to get in there. It gets fouled up top. Take it out on the sideline here. And that foul is on Spencer Ford, his first team's third. 6.37 o'clock. Lockhart drives, unable to go down. Gets Murray, Baker, strong gets rebound. Murray or Baker? Xavier, oh, Baker, I'm sorry, Coach. Baker, Xavier Baker. Oh, floater. Williams, 6'2", junior guard. Look like he might get 27 tonight. Looks like he's on pace, Coach. 17-14, Coach. We're approaching 6.05 on the clock, second period. Craig Harris has the ball. Lockhart now has it. We're in the beautiful gym of the Rams here. And there's still Sullivan gets it, looks to drive, all the way to the rack, draws a foul. He'll be shooting two. I'm gonna have to say something. Sean Thorson, his first team's fourth. Got some subs coming in. Craig Harris takes a, a break, and Xavier Baker takes a well deserved break. Quality minutes there, coached by the Ram. Absolutely. Sullivan knocks it in. Did he hit both of those, coach? Yes, don't give me the line. <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, he's 62.8% 62 free throw shooter, Sullivan was. I think he might be one of the better free throw shooters on his team. <laughs> it's still by Lockhart. <laughs> Going all the way off the backboard. Not able to make that shot. Gives it to Williams. Williams looking to get things started here. They're down by five here, Coach. 19-14. Approaching five minutes in the second period. Stops and pops. Rattles. In and out. Mike Nixon with the rebound. Gives it up to Mozzie Wright. Johnson knocks it in. Johnson came into this game, Coach, knocking out 13 three-pointers. That was the fourth point tonight. We got an unforced turnover here, Coach. In line violation. Coach Thorson wants to talk about it. Yes, you know, he wants an explanation about that call. Larkar takes a seat. They bring in Aiden Sanders. With five oh, I'm sorry, with 450 to play. And Aiden stretches lead to eight points. 22-14. Oh, Johnson. Leading score starting to get busy now. They got about a 10-0 run here right now. 24-14. Approaching 435 on the clock. Second period. Ramel Johnson, coach, came in with two, 273 points. Oh, beautiful. Left hand spin cycle move there, coach. Unable to connect, though. Go to the line, shooting two. Jay Sean Wright, coach, is a, a billboard for 50-50 factor. He's 51.8% for the free throw line. First one's up. Good. He made 28 of 54 coming into this game here tonight. Yeah, I would expect him to be a better free throw shooter from the line. We got a player of that magnitude gets to the hole like he does. Not in both. You would hope that he would be more effective from the free throw line. Yeah. Gets it with an eight here, Coach, 24-16. Yeah, the Rams are clicking on all cylinders right now, Coach. So. I bet you Jay Shaw uh, Williams go wish he had Armstrong. Oh, yeah. On the yeah. backcourt made from last year. The one that made that incredible shot. It's in the overtime, remember, Coach? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still by Amazi Wright. Gets it to Johnson. Oh! Williams. Oh, baby. Heads up play by everybody there. Yeah, Coach. yeah. He drives it to the rack. Throws up the circus shot. He gets bailed out. He clearly got bailed out on that call. <laughs> he was totally out of control. Yeah. 356 on the clock. Coach, that was a fantastic play there by both teams. Trying to get their team the advantage there, throwing the ball of each other, saving the ball out of bounds. That was a fantastic play there. Yeah, for, up, no good. and for all that hard work, I was surprised that Spencer went down and threw up some, yeah. you know, some circus. <laughs> circus shot, exactly, and happened to get bailed out. 
Spencer, 66% free throw shooter, coach. He looked 50-50 from there, from that shot. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Comes up blank. He only been to the line. Uh, he only been to the line six times. He made four. Coming into this matchup. Lockhart drives it, kicks. Deflection. Right. Gives it to the lead scorer, Johnson. Ramel. Baker rebounds the offensive rebound. Oh, baby. Puts it back up. Extend the lead back to 10 with 330. Yeah, Coach Thorson cannot be happy right now. He is livid right now over the offensive rebounds. Yeah, too hard in that lane. Oh, gets his own rebound there, Coach. This rebound, able to, able to connect. Mozzie, right. You got a legal screen here, Coach? We got a blocking foul is the correct terminology, yeah, but we can go with a legal screen. That's Baker's first, team's fifth. What happened? He wasn't stationary long enough, Coach? I think he termed that he didn't give the, uh, the, offender, offensive, the defender player enough time to adjust when he set to his screen. Oh, so we gotta help. We gotta help the. We gotta help the defense out now. That's what we gotta do now. What's the offense players gotta do? It, well, everybody's entitled to a spot on the floor, and somebody can't just take that away from you. He just took the ball there away, coach. We gotta give it back to Chatham now. Lockhart yeah. scores it. The left hand Lele. Yeah. Since the lead of 12, coach 28-16, 245 in the clock. Yeah, and Torson wants a timeout to talk about it. Yeah, this might be a laugher in a second here. Back to live action. 2:40 in the clock. Second period, 12-point advantage for the Rensselaer Rams over the Chatham Panthers. Looking to get something going. Caster drives, kicks. Long three, hits the posterior rebound. Baker, Baker been doing very, been very positive uh, on the court tonight for the Rams. Yes, he has, Coach. He's coming and giving some really meaningful minutes and rebounding the ball, playing good defense, setting screens like you see there. Little screen and roll. Oh. This is, couldn't connect. Lockhart couldn't connect on that one. Swift thought process. Just, just unable to connect there, Coach. Yeah, I don't understand why that didn't get done. I don't know if Baker wasn't quite ready for it or what, but that should have been done. That was the easy lay lay right there. Could have been a good execution of a play. I don't think it touched Baker's hands, though. Yeah, I, yeah, it didn't. Oh, okay. And that's the surprising part. In and out <laughs> by Williams, Coach. He's looking to assert himself. This guy's been asserting himself here. <laughs> oh, yes, he has. Oh, gets blocked inside. Johnson wants a foul. Unable to get one. Ball gets tapped out. Yeah, you see right there, you see the Panthers are a source of their own problems yeah, right there. Yeah. Good defensive play right there, and then you come down and you throw it away. 28-16, under 135, third, I'm sorry, second period. Got two different benches over there, Coach. You got a long bench over here with Chatham and a short bench for Rensselaer. But Rensselaer holds on to a 12-point advantage. Lockhart mm -hmm. looking to make moves. Johnson finds an opening, throws up the three, no good. Panthers track it down. And this is where the Panthers have to capitalize here. If they expect to get, try to get this thing under 10 going into the half. Mateo Tobot, coach, Good back door. shot a lot tonight. Number 30. Is that pass deflected? Good sportsmanship that helps him up. Panther will go to the line. That looks like Tobias Gerard. Tobias Gerald. Gerald. 57 seconds to go. Tobias is a 67 percent free throw shooter, Coach. Let's see. Oh. First one's good. He got a high arc to that shot, yeah, too. He does. Uh. To, the, to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> he been to the line for, uh, six times this season, knocked down four of them, Coach. Second one's up. Good. All splash right there. No question. So they got in 10. So they need a strong stop right here in order to get it under 10 going into the half. And you got a little kick right here inside, turnover right turnover. there. Turnover, Williams. 
Oh, oh, good extra pass there. Lockhart returns to sender that shot. He drives it, throws a little jump hook, no good. Lockhart comes up with another rebound, looking to push. Good bounce pass. Johnson finishes it. Nice pass by Samir Lockhart. Yeah, and Lockhart is rebounding, stealing, passing, assisting. Yes. Playing defense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still. That is still here. Looking to attack. He goes up, up and away. Scores it. 30 to 8, 32 18, coach. So, one second on the clock. Scores that bucket. 32 18 advance for the Bristol Rams, coach. What are your thoughts about this first half here? The first half, it came out there. It was playing nip and tuck, coach. Remember, it was early on 7 8, 10 9, 14 13. And all of a sudden, the Rams went on a run, coach, and largely impacted by the play of Johnson and right, um, Lockhart. You see, you see Johnson coming out. He's been a fan from Lockhart's hustle, defensive play, getting out in the open court, feeding those guys. He's playing defense. You see him get a steal right now, just take it out of um, Williams' hands. So he's affecting the game on all levels. So right now the Rams are just playing with a lot more intensity, a lot more passion, and it reflects on the scoreboard with a 14-point lead. On the other hand, the um, Panthers have to find a way to get, generate some type of offense from somewhere. Early on, the ball's been going in and out. Williams came in, gave him a hot hand earlier, kind of cooled as of lately, and right now the whole team has cooled as of lately. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's our halftime report. We've got uh, Bridgeler 32, Chatham Panthers 18. Back to live action to start the second half. 32-18 advantage here for the Rams of Rensselaer. The Chatham Panthers got to do something to try to get back in this game here and make it relevant, Coach, right now. So hopefully Thorson came out of that locker room with a fire up on him and get something going here in the second half. What do you got to do? What do you got to do defensively? Maybe maybe a little bit more pressure, full court? Just to mix things up? Maybe one, yep, I agree, Coach. Might want to mix something up here a little bit. Shot goes up by Nixon. Just return to center there. Gets fall, it gets fouled by Johnson here. Chatham will go to the line, shooting two. That would be Craig Harris going to the line, like he's a little injured there. I'm gonna try and shake it off. No, that's not Craig Harris. That's um the coach's son, Thorson. Yeah, make sure you say that right and don't mix it with my name. <laughs> <laughs> going Mighty Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mighty Thor just came up real weak <laughs> on that free throw. Yes, he Coach, he's a 44% free throw shooter. He made 8 of 18 coming to this game tonight. Second one, rattles out. Williams battles. He was a 6-2 frame there, Coach, to get big. Yeah, Williams got to do more. Like right there, that rebound, Williams had Johnson in a one-on-one -on -one situation squared up. You got to go at him now. Your team needs you. They, everybody else ain't been able to really generate no offense. Right. Oh, Thorson. Thorson said, I don't hit free throws, I hit threes. <laughs> the coach's son nails it. 32-21, Chatham still down, coach. Thorson came in this game, knocking down five. Lockhart goes to the hole, gets fouled. He'll go to the line shooting two. Yeah, that was the coach's son, coach, Matt Thorson. He, he knocked down four coming to this game. That's five right there. I'm sorry, he came in the game knocking five, and there's a six-one he knocked in. Six fifty-six on the clock. Lockhart rattles. And Lockhart has been having himself of a game of a late this far. He has six points and he has about four assists and probably three steals. So what you refer to as what, Coach? Stat sheet stuffer. <laughs> Knocks in the second one. The fifty-four point seven percent free throw shooter goes up with the fifty-fifty factor to lead the line, leading charity strike. The ball gets worked around the horn. Number three here for Chatham Coach is only a freshman. I couldn't find his name in the program. I want to say it's Clark. Yeah, Clark. Oh, right? yep, Kendrick Clark. The lefty, he don't look for a shot very much. Oh, Williams was trying to find him wide open. He didn't want, he wanted to. He wanted Thorson to react a certain kind of way. He didn't react. The ball got turned over. You don't need those right now, Coach, trying to get back into this ball you game. You sure don't, Coach. You need all the possessions that you could potentially get right now in order to make this a ball game. 
we saw last night where the Able Park Warriors started making it a, a game against Saratoga late in the um, third, fourth quarter, yeah. quarter, came on and made a game of it. Only have Saratoga do what they do and distance themselves eventually. However, they made a run, and I think the same has to be said here for the Panthers. They have to make a run in this third quarter. That's right. Oh, wide open. Amazi right, coach, on out-of-bounds play. Chatham Panthers fell asleep there. 33-21, Williams being very patient offensively. He was more patient. aggressive last year, coach. That's what I was saying myself, too. <laughs> Mm. Coach Thorson wants to talk think, about it. You think this year he'd be more like, it's my team now, Armstrong is gone. I'm going to take total control, and, you know, and it's not seem to be happening right now. Yeah, because when we talked about it, Coach, we talked about coming in and seeing this game. We know these was two teams who were having up and down seasons and so forth. But we did talk about Jay Sean Williamson coming to see him play and seeing his growth and seeing how he has matured right. and where his ability has come from last year to this year, right. being that he showed such a sensational sophomore year last year. That's right. 35. Rensselaer Rams, 21, Chatham, Panthers. Back to live action here. We're in the Rensselaer Rams layer. And they're putting on Chatham right now. 14 point advantage, 35, 21. Rensselaer Rams are up. Ball gets swung around by Chatham. They got to make a go of it. The freshman goes up dry. It's over the right hand. Shot by the lefty. Able to go down. He goes to the line shooting two. Yeah, the, Clark. <laughs> <laughs> the freshman said, okay, Williams, you don't want to do anything. You're the junior now. We was looking at your team. I'm going to have to try to do something. It's uh, very unfortunate, Coach, because this young fella, he's been to the line eight times. He only made one. He's a 12.5% free throw shooter, Coach. You, did you just say 12? <laughs> 12%. Mm. Poor kid. Yeah, first one's up. No good. He won't be shooting any technicals for the coach. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight. Even the last guy. <laughs> Second one. Rattles. Lefties usually got that sweet stroke too, coach. Yeah, but well he's only a freshman, so right. a little time. Looks like a good, good shaped kid, you know, like he's got some height with him. Lefty, you know, strong looking body. He's so young. Yes. He, uh, so we'll see how his development goes. They're running a little flex cut here. Lockhart. Looks to penetrate. No good. Saves it. Baker does, and then Lockhart saves it from going out of bounds. Wow, coach. Takes a crazy yellow body shot there, and then has the will with to still get the ball on a saved inbounds pass to give his team another possession. Yeah, the pick and roll is una unable to go down. These guys throw it right away. I yeah. Nixon gets the steal. Johnson gets the three ball off of Nixon still and pass. And he notches his 12 point of the contest tonight, coach. 38-21. Oh, find Williams down low, pivots, throws it up. With 4 45 on the clock, third period. And that's his 11 point. I'm sorry, coach, that's his 11 point in the contest, but a good look inside by the freshman right there. Good look inside by Clark. Coach, uh, Shamir Lockhart, coach. Oh, good back door. Lovely. Ramel Johnson scored. Coach, Ramel Johnson had 25 points in a win against Maple Hill. That was a pretty big win because Maple Hill was like top three in that Patron Conference. That was a pretty big win. Got a double double here going the other way. Ramel Johnson also had 24 points against Hudson, coach, in a win. And he had 12 points against Chatham the first time these two teams met. Yeah, what I'm starting to recognize here is just this, this Panther team is just not have it. I mean, they're getting beat by simple, fundamental backdoor plays that at this juncture in the game, you shouldn't continuously be beat by. Right. So I, I don't know about their IQ, their skill set, and how much, you know, knowledge they even have of the game. Mm. Oh, backdoor. Oh. Looking pretty clean there. Yeah, I thought so. Mel Johnson, leading scorer, goes to the line. 65% free throw shoot. The first one's up, short. Yeah, Johnson having a game right now. He has 14 points, and Sullivan checks in for Baker. You probably could average about a good six, seven more points than this guy's average. He, made, he just makes his free throws, I would think. Coach, much he's been to the line. Yeah, for real. Knocks in the second one. 50-50 factor, full effect, that trip. We're approaching 4-5, third period. 41-23, Rams of Rensselaer up. Williams gets a wide open shot. Good close out there by 
uh, Johnson on Williams. Rebound by Chatham. Gets it stolen by Nixon. Gets it to Johnson. Johnson goes right to the rack. Gets defended very well. Rebound Chatham after the miss on Johnson there. We're approaching 3.30 on the clock. Williams gets it. Not even looking aggressive at all. Nope. He letting other guys take shots that shouldn't be taking shots. And these guys don't mind taking these shots either. <laughs> yeah, timeout by the Rams. I guess the Rams coach said, uh, Coach Fall said, I just seen enough. Uh, uh -huh. Sloppy. Let me get a timeout, cool these guys down, get a couple subs in, and see what we can do. Come out of this timeout. We got 41 23, and the rest of the Rams are up. Oh, back to live action. We got 3.20 on the clock here, and we got a 18 point lead here for the. The Rams, Lockhart drives it, scores it. The 311 mark, 20 point advantage here, coach, by the Rams, coach, over the Panthers. Yeah, it's turning into a laugher. They didn't do what they what was. Um, and it didn't have hope. to be, coach. And it didn't have to be. You know uh, what I mean? Like, yeah, right. You know, you should have. You just tell your best player, which is if Williams doesn't know he's your best player. Then I have a question what the coach is doing over there. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. He's your best player. Because everybody else is taking shots except him. Right. So I don't know if that's by design. Right. Lockhart drives it. Expects his contact. Didn't get it. Ball gets kicked out. Freshman Kendrick Clark has it. He drives it. Right hand Lele. Unable to go down. Amazi Wright rebounds it for Rensselaer. Gets the script from behind. Gives it to Williams. He got Sullivan ready. Oh, baby, that looked good right there. Williams got some stuff. He just needs to break out. Yeah, sure. Coach, just tell him to go. Go. That's what I'm saying, coach. Put it all on his back and just go. 2-10 on the clock. Lockhart kicks it to them. Amazi Wright. Rainbows, three, drops. 43-25. 46, 25, I'm sorry. Got a 26 point advantage here for the Rams. They drive it inside. The little runner goes in for the Panthers. 46, 27, 19 point advantage for Rensselaer Rand. Lockhart looking to drive it down their throat. Throws it up. He gets bumped on the outside by the freshman, Kendrick Clark. He will go to the line, shooting two. Coach, best performances so far on Emoji 2 TV. And now we got to talk about that a little bit. I mean, we got one in mind, but we can talk discuss that, and we can just flow from there. Yeah, we could do that. I'm, I'm all JJ Starlin. Starlin from um, Baldwinville. Yes. He put on a spectacular shooting performance. Um, all around game, he just played well. Talk to me why you think his performance is one of the highlights of Emoji 2 TV this year. We, well, with him. He came out, and one thing that he did, Coach, that made it seem like may appear to us one of the best performances, he did it effortlessly. Yeah. He came out and went six for six from the three-point line <laughs> off the rip yeah. and shot a high percentage from there on out. Yes. And he was doing it with floaters. He was doing it with fallaways, falling down in the corner, laylays, <laughs> getting fouled on the three-pointers, yeah. and ones, completing the play, yeah. nice yeah. dishes. Yeah. Yeah. And he was a sophomore, so this cut put on a nice performance against a highly touted Green Tech yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. Who I is not no slouches who, who at by all accounts are the favorites to win yeah. the section two title this year. Right. So he didn't do it against the currently twenty three in the state right now. Yes, yeah, so he didn't do it against just no average Joes. Yes, he needed yes. to get some ballers, and that was very, very impressive no to say the least. It. No question about it. Any other performances stick out in your mind right now? Yeah, the, 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 um, was it the Tice or Trice kid from um Newburgh Free Academy? Yes, 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 Tice, yes, yes. Amari Tice. He did a great job. I thought he did a good job against Shin and, um, and down in, uh, in Newburgh, Coach. He did a great job down there as well. Turnover by Chatham. He had a tight skid down. I mean, Coach, he can shoot it. He pays with a lot of poise. Um, doesn't seem to be rushed at all. Goes at his own pace. Hungry on the defensive end. Um, doesn't take any plays off both sides. He's the both, he, he plays both sides of the court type of athlete, Coach. Yes. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, he's played. He had 28 against Army Academy down there. Wow. 28 points. Wow. So he's another one played with a lot of poise, much yes. like Starlin, yes. and gets it done, Coach. No about yeah. Lockhart with the lay lay there. Coach, he brings him to mind there for the, for the uh, Kingston Tigers. What about Shaquan Royal? Shaquan Royal played good as well. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. yeah he, he's a, he's a, like a gangly type guard. 
Um, we saw him out against Detroit. We saw him against Troy. We saw him against Colony. Yes. yes yeah, yeah. Yes. And this is a guy who fills it up real fast as well, Coach. Yeah. And, and it was what's impressive about him was he comes out, he puts a lot of pressure on the defense yeah. in order to stop him. But he was forcing the action a little bit against Troy, and then he knew when to pull back yeah. and get his other teammates involved. So he's yeah. another one that on the Emoji Two TV's performance that did an excellent job. I like, bro I like I'm gonna say Brody, but uh, I like Brady. I like Brady. Brady Short. Brady Short, man. I yeah. Mean, that guy played with a lot of composure as well, coach, and he got a little rhythm to his game. He does. You know what I mean? He's got a little flavor. Yeah. A little flavor. Yeah, yeah, Brady yeah. Short, tough kid. Yes. 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 I, like those. I, like, I like aesthetically. I like him watching him play. Yes. You know I mean? Yes. So, there's yes, another, one. Uh, another good performance by him. The only thing that was that his performance was stopped short was probably the coach who put him in too soon, yeah, and that's Troy yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, put him in way too early there. And we they had the rhythm. I mean, they had the momentum going and fouled out. Oh, Sullivan with the post up there. No, that's not Sullivan. No, that's um, that's somebody. Portalo. <laughs> Now we'd be remiss if we didn't mention our own. We we do. You you got me going all over the place. You got Boswell, Kingston, Newbert. What about um Andre Jackson? I mean he's. Uh, I mean what about his performance? It, it was it was, it was uh, highlight riddled. <laughs> <laughs> With a lot of amazing block shots. He blocking a, a, a six eleven guy's shot, coach. Uh, and his dunk attempt, coach, was crazy. Then he volleyball blocked another guard's block shot. Going to the rack crazy. His dunks were fabulous. Um, he knocked down a three ball, three yeah. ball at one point. Yes, yes. He put his whole rubber tall on the line there, coach, and they just said, like, yo, you know why I'm going to Utah. <laughs> <laughs> if you had any doubts, any questions, yeah, yeah, I answered them all. Yes. You know what I mean, yeah. so the sky's the limit for him. And um, well, what about what about the six eleven kid for for a movie? Mo no, oh, the, Mo for the Mo yeah, for the yeah, cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like him. Okay. Yeah, I like Mo, man. Yeah. You know, he's a he's a room protector. You think gonna, you're not going to just waltz in the lane and think you're going to get some easy. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's not having that. Oh, he was having a block party early on oh, in that game. My goodness. He was having one down in uh, Newburgh, too, coach. Yeah. Like, you had to really have second thoughts about going to the rack with him. You know what I mean? So, and he can score now. You know, he had banging on you if you ain't, you, you, you ain't watchful. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, I like his play a lot. He's a um, he's an emerging player. Coach. I mean, right now, he's probably highly recruited. Imagine another year. Oh, of my God. Oh my God! Wow. Is there maybe a year of prep? Yo, I don't know about prep. You don't need prep. Uh, two years right now. I, I, I mean, he does have two years. Yeah, we talking about prep. I mean, we're gonna see in two years. No, it ain't maybe possible no, that you. No, 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 no. Well, I'll see you in two years. You go on. It's over. It's it's over. over. Okay, all right, all right. I mean, if I get a year with him, a summer with him, I'll just show him some things from a guard perspective. You know what I mean? I'll just show him a little couple things. You know what I mean? That <laughs> help now. I don't want to train him or nothing. Uh, he's he's got a couple things. Yeah, I'm more, I'm more of a consultant. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 you got enough training. Oh, we got I mean, dancing cartoon <laughs> services now. Okay, all right, that's what we're doing now. Okay, hey, cool. Yeah, I can watch all few of that help now, but yeah, he's a, he's a fabulous player. What? Uh, ball tapped out here. Chad will retain it. It was 50, coach. We lost the game for a second there. It's 50 to 29 here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rissling around. Oh, where are we at? Where are we at? Rissling? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot what. Oh. For true conference. Now. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, speaking of performances, I'm sorry. I don't uh, what about the little kid that transferred from Troy over to Voorheesville? Oh, little. Yeah, exactly. Little. Little. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that kid, he got a monsters of a body. Yes. I mean, he worked on his body. You know yes, I mean? yes. He's, he's probably about, what, 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, yeah, coach. You know what I mean? Um, he can score at will on anybody. I believe he had 30-something against um, Waterford when we were there. You know what I mean? So, I, you know. 28. 28. Close to 30. Wow. You might have miscounted that book. Yeah, I might, I might, I might. Yeah, I'll give you 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, he was a uh, foul. He shoot the jumper, coach. He go to the hole, play tough. He, he rebounds. You know what I mean? I, I, just, I only had one concern about him. I, I wish he had a little bit more of a motor. More, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, his motor ain't bad, but I want to see more a of a motor. More. You know what I mean? But He's coach, a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Right, right, right. right. And he has another sophomore that is back. Yes, Tedesco. Yes, Tedesco. Tedesco. Yeah, Tedesco. I'm sorry, we got that. Tedesco. Yeah, Tedesco. There's another one. Fabulous guard. Fabulous guard. Yeah. Very heady. Yes. You know what I mean? Smart. I mean, high IQ. I mean, the coaches on the floor. You know what I mean? I mean, this guy, You want if you want a point guard that can run your show, he'd probably be one of the top draft picks in the area to be my point guard. No question about it. Hands down. Uh -oh. That's one coming from a, one point guard to another. <laughs> no question about it. <laughs> yes. No question about it. Absolutely, coach. Because he can shoot it, but he can get his guys involved. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. So. And, like and, and it's hard to press them because of his ball handling ability and his IQ. Yes, 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 yes. 
Anybody else go? Oh, you, do you want to get back in the game a little bit here? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go back. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got 72 to go on the clock here. We got somebody in the foul line. Johnson will go to the line. <clears throat> well, my question to you was, who do you think some of the teams and the um, – Let's just stay with Double A right now. Okay. Who's some of the teams that are your surprise? That may surprise. Like people got to look out for, be mindful of. I think I'd be mindful of Gilman. They're not. They, the last couple of games they've been, you know, not in the, not in the um the plus side of things. But I think they could be a sneaky type of team. They've been. They come out of that that dungeon they've been in for the last couple of years. Right. Well, yes. And now they're starting to reveal their head a little bit. You know okay. What I mean? Okay. So uh, I like them to be a to be a team that can maybe knock someone off. Um. This unit definitely. Yes, that's what came to my mind. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what came to my mind. Yeah, I got a steal here in the fast break here. And that's by uh, Thorson, the coach's son there. I got a steal. Oh, good no look pass. And the layway. Count it, coach. You got some highlights here for him. Yeah. Tobias Gerald scores that bucket for yeah. uh, Chatham uh, Panther. Yeah, coach. I mean, um, you saw St. Sean St. Lucia put up a heck of a performance, oh, coach. My goodness, this dude. Oh. Going oh my goodness, coach. I mean, he was so much locked in, coach. I don't think we had to hit him with a truck to get him out of that trance. I mean, it was wow. I mean, he made every right play, coach. The pass, knocking down shots, taking dudes to the hole, um, playing the passing lanes, knocking down free throws. He was he, just doing it all. He, he, what comes to mind when I think about him is whatever you need, I'll provide, coach. Yeah. You need an assist, I'll provide assist. You need a rebound, I'll provide a rebound. You need a bucket, I'll give you that. You need a three, I'll give you that. Yeah. So, he just. Yes. No question about it. So, yeah, Niski Union and Gilliland are definitely two teams out there that you can't overlook no. at all and no. No. take lightly. No. And that's two teams that, you know, like last year, Niski Union was started to make, make a push, and then it, it kind of flailed out. A little yeah, they bit. did flail out, yes. I mean, so, but those two teams right there, Coach. But the way Grasso has these kids playing this year, yeah. I mean. Yeah. 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 Even though they're on a two-game losing streak right now, they play against. They're in a tough week. You know, they play Shin and then they play Colony. Lost both games. They lost to Colony on Friday, so there's a tough. They're in a tough part of the schedule right, right now. Right. Yes. You know what I mean? So I think they got another tough one on. Uh, what's today? Yeah, on on, on, on Friday. So. Oh, okay. As yeah. they get through with this little run, they got probably two games where they can exhale again. You yeah. Know what I mean? but, and Clark gets fouled, and go to the line. He misses the first one. He, what we expect is being a 12.5% free throw yeah. shooter. Goes to, what about Colony a little bit? Talk to me a little bit about Colony. They got a Jekyll and Hyde type yeah, of team. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't. I'm not feeling comfortable with them. I really am not, man. Oh, do you think they're underachieving this year, sort of? Or are you expecting more from them? What, what? Well, I saw them play. So, you know, nothing really. I mean, besides, besides Coyle, mm -hmm. his three-point ability to knock down a shot. Besides that, I don't see anything that they got that really stands out that that warrants my attention. I mean, you got Sheldon, but he looked it better last year to me. Even with his body, he looked it better. Like, he looked. He reminded me of Isaiah Moe last year, and this year he looks totally different. Like he lost a lot of a lot of um. Well, minimum. Oh, okay. You know what I mean, so he doesn't play with that same type of ruthlessness like he did last year. You know what I mean? Yep. But um, you know, I just don't know. I just don't know. They they're. They're a team that could win it all, but I wouldn't be surprised that they lose in the first round. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. That's that's a good actually analogy of their situation over there. Yeah, yeah. If you looked up in the box scores and you saw a Colony take a L, it wouldn't really no. totally surprise you. I mean, if they, Victor, Victor Farr is a fabulous guard for them, but he just if he had, if he had the if he had the mindset of a uh, of a Tedesco, yes, over, it'd be a different ball game. Yes, he turns the ball over too much. He takes he too much. His risk factor is high, very high. Mm. Very risk, you know, very risky with the ball. I, I, I see what you're saying. His risk worth his reward. Yeah, it's yeah, not that yeah. good. It is a lot of very risky yeah, yeah, yeah. and feast of famine with him type of guard. Yes, yes. And he could be so much more better than that with his athleticism yes, and what he brings to the table. Yes. I mean, I just want more out of him. Point guard, that great, kind of hard. You know what I mean? But, got to. Yeah, yeah. You got so, to. You got to. You know, he just, he could be the linchpin for that team that really get them going the right way if he just, you know, really – Took his time and really got it turned to a student of the game. Yeah, but play. He got a foul here, coach. He's gonna take it out in, underneath here by the Panthers. Oh, the foul shot. I'm sorry. One and one. 18 fouls by Rensselaer. 
Tobias Gerald up. <laughs> he misses the one and one factor. Coach, what about your, your Adam Otter, um, Albany High, Coach? We think of their chances of, of doing something this year. I mean, Coach, they came, uh, me personally? Yes. When they came into the season, I thought they were going to do it. Like the last three years I've been watching them. It might have been longer than that, but the last three years, they definitely had teams that, that should have been making some noise. This year, even more so, you know what I mean? But yeah. What are, your, what are your thoughts? Underachieving. When, you come, when I asked you about Colony, whether it was underachieving or not, what did you, what's your thoughts? Yeah. Albany High obviously is underachieving. I mean, with the type of talent that they have. No, go ahead, coach. The kind of um talent that they have and what they're able to possess, coach. I think they should be competing way much on a higher level than they have. Making two buckets in a row. And I, it's unfortunate that they go from a team who should be picked to be there at the end to a team that you're saying you can't overlook. <laughs> right, right, huh? right. <laughs> no question about it. Mm. It's just, man, they just don't. They don't, they don't fight hard. They just don't, they, just, they missing a lot. They missing, they got the athletes, man. They got the players. Something is not clicking. You know what I mean? Yeah, it just. Get a timeout here by the, by the Rams. Give her a break. With 336 to go. 58, 34. Back to live action. Coach, we're in the fourth period. Final stanza. 336 to go. 58, 34. Rich to the Rams over the. Chatham Panthers, Sullivan spots the three ball, and it goes in. The baby beats the ball and hell out and shoots it. You got the freshman here, Kendrick Clark, looking to make the move. And they got a, they done got this to a 27 point. Who's the ball out of bounds? Coach, what about the A division? What is some of the teams? We saw a lot of teams. We saw McKill. Once already gets Green Tech. Um, Avril Park we saw. Troy, obviously, we saw several times. Um, it's funny when you mention McKill because in saying Green Tech in the same sentence because when you think about the favorites in AA, you think about Green Tech. When you think about the favorites in there, you think about McKill. <laughs> yeah. Some are saying that they're writing McKill as potentially a state championship right now. I don't blame them. <laughs> I don't know, you, know what I mean? you got Douglasville over there that's uh, making some noise over in that Foothills Conference, but uh, the, the schedule that McKill plays is, you know, totally on a different level than and, uh, what the Douglasville put together. And with that, and with the action, acquisition of Janon White, yeah, got a bucket there by Aiden Sanders for the Richland Ram. He seemed to be a crowd favorite down here, coach. Absolutely, got that foul round up. Yeah, coach. So you got, you know, you, you, you know, you got, you know. I, mean, I think the sectionals during the A's up to the finals would be interesting. You know what I mean? But after that, that, it's a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that McKill team is really, really. Then tough. you got Jayon White that transfer from Schenectady. That just, that just sealed the deal. Basically. That sealed it. That blew it to the roof. <laughs> I mean, They're busting some double A programs yeah, behind. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> No question about it. Went down to Middletown just recently and beat up on somebody that beat up on Middletown. They went to Binghamton and beat up on some Binghamton team down there. You know what I mean? They just beating up on people. <laughs> I mean, they haven't lost a game since. No, I can't say that. But put it like this. Since they beat Green Tech, they haven't lost a game since then. Mm. That, was, that was several weeks ago. They're on a roll. They're yeah. definitely on a roll. And the first game against Green Tech, Jernon didn't play. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it's it's it's, it's feasible to say if they're double A, they'd be favored in double A too. Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah. Well, you got double A. You got Shin, coach, of course, right? You got Shin. You know what I mean? You got Shin. Shin is a peculiar team to me. They don't possess. Uh, got a lay lay by Baker there, coach. 152 to go. They don't possess any superior athleticism at all, besides Seal. See him right. was the only one that really gave you a little bit of athleticism. Uh, as far as playing above the rim, right. But those guys can shoot that rock, coach. They could definitely shoot that rock, and it, it's a interesting pro, a proposition to think because it could come down to Shenandoah, Green Tech. Obviously, I think Saratoga. Yes, 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 yes. So who would you put in there as your fourth team if you could think about anybody right now? Fourth team, you said. Who you say? Green I, Tech. I said Green Tech, Saratoga, Shin, 
And well, La- La- LaSalle is in the um, LaSalle's in the LaSalle's yeah, so, uh, yeah, so LaSalle yeah. is, yeah, I mean, that would probably be my semifinal right now if I have to venture out right now. I know you got to think. I know you got to scratch your head and do all those kind of things. But yeah, yeah. If it don't pop in my head right away, then, then I pop it. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I should have had a team that in my head that who I like. But you just said those teams. It's like I went, I went blank. <laughs> 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 I mean, because Avery Park goes down. You know, Troy, Troy goes, goes down. down. You know, uh, Burnt Hills, I believe, goes down. You know, so. Oh, wow. Sullivan knocks it to three ball. NBA seconds go. It turned yes. into a loss for here. Yes, it has. 68 to 37. Rinse of the Rams over Chatham. Panthers. It is it. Bring it tonight. Yeah, man. What about the bees, real quick? We got 40 seconds, go. What about the bees? I mean. I mean, you got, you got, I mean, you got Fonda, right? You got Bishop Givens. Yes. You got, um, what, well, Waterville Lee? Waterville Lee. Yeah, Waterville Lee. You got Shalmont. Shalmont. Uh, wow. I think that's wide open. Yeah. That's wide open. There's a good eight teams there, Coach. I, 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 would, I don't know, man. I, I, I like Shalmont. Like Shalmont? I just like what Luciano does. I just like how he gets things done. Yeah. You know, I and think Gibbons, though, is athletic enough to get it done, too. I agree. Gibbons is definitely affordable for Parker over there. Yeah. And what he does, they're definitely a affordable opponent as well. No question. We got Mechanicville, we got Glitch Falls, Music Falls, and we already named what it believes. What about Catskill, coach? You forget about Catskill. You can't forget about Catskill. You cannot forget about Catskill. 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 Might have to be the yes. This yes. Is it. And then I'm going with Gibbon. Then I'm going with Shelma. Then I'm going with Gloversville. Oh, who's it for? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. It is a pickle. I'll probably go with Fonda or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that's, that's the end right there, coach. Oh, the game, coach, here, 68. Uh, Wrestling Rams, coach, and the Chatham Panthers, 37, to close out this game here, coach. Your final thoughts on the game? I mean, the fourth quarter, we went, we went where? We went sideways with the game. Yeah. Your final thoughts about the game? The Panthers look nothing like they looked last year. We expected them to have some type of – uh, showing here tonight, and they didn't come and show up at all. And obviously, they're just not as talented as they were last year. And Williams, who I thought would come in and definitely assert himself, just didn't do it. And the Rams came out and put it to him right away. And you had um, Lockhart and Johnson just doing it. Then Sullivan coming in, knocking down threes. Lockhart all over the place, rebounding, assistance, steals, everything. They just came and put it to him right away. And they weren't, they kind of knocked them around. They were not ever able to recover, coach.